why you don't link with other YouTubers. Because you can have a friend, but are you their friend? As soon as they homegirl don't show up um, for their dog's graduation, you gotta get cut off. You just can't be a bum yourself. I guess, okay? That's basically it. I'm just trying to hold everyone to the same standard. Don't piss me off. <laughs>
because I cannot get a cheers to that one. Because honestly, like if you really think about it, you don't got to announce things. And you don't, I never felt like I had to announce anything, really. I just was just doing things and just show your, your actions, your accomplishments and all things speaks value for itself. And the right people will align with you eventually. So don't be mean to your friends. Don't try to make them feel less than because you're just trying to get yourself together just as much as they probably are. Or, you know, everybody's on a different pace. Just do what you got to do. And you can just distance yourself. Literally just stop reaching out every day. Stop calling them all the time. Make yourself be productive and busy. Like you want to have things going on where it's like you don't have really have time to go hang out with this friend anymore. You don't really have time to do this, this, and this. Unless, like for me, let me give you an example. So like for me, I'm always at a cafe. I'm always working out. I'm always doing this. So if people want to hang with me, they'll see like, oh, maybe I can go to a workout class with her or I can go to a cafe with her. You got to catch me where I be at. Like, that's just how it is. So if you want to change yourself and the people that's around you, do what you got to do. And those people will, it will make sense to them. Like, oh, I want to hang out with her. I probably got to, I probably got to do things that she likes. Yeah, these are things that I like to do. This is what I'm doing in my schedule. So if you want to hang with me, let's see what I can add to my schedule. We can go to a cafe. We can go to happy hour. We can go, um, you know, so workout session. These are things that I like to do. So create your schedule, create your life how you want it to be. And people will either respect it or they won't. And Oh, well, they don't. <laughs> like this one says, how to not attract bum girls with friendships. Hold on, read it again. I'm going to put it on the screen so y'all can read it. But it says, how to not attract bum girls with friendships. Like money, free rides, etc. Um, I don't know. I think for, for me more so, you just set the tone for yourself. So when you set the tone for yourself, I think I do believe in you are, you attract what you are or however that saying is because why would, I don't know. <laughs> because listen, listen, like even when it comes to like dating like with the guys and stuff, you know how people be like, if you really sit and think about it, you can think you're the best person ever, but it's something about you as to why you keep attracting the same type of man. So you gotta think about it. Why are you attracting these type of same friends, like women, like what's, what is it? So you set the tone for yourself and you're confident within yourself. Uh, it really, you really won't attract friends that, you won't really attract women that don't have, that don't drive or always don't want, always want free stuff or whatever the case is. Because listen, um, if where you're always at requires you to spend some coin, they won't be there. So it kind of like piggybacking off to the other question. If you do things to align with the life that you want and the friendships that you want, those people will be in that same those same areas too. Like people that want free stuff all the time, they probably won't be where you're at if you're not getting free stuff all the time. Like we can do a little deal. Don't get me wrong, I'm gonna be at my happy hour. But like you just have to set the tone for yourself. And if it's like where they're kind of like pushing themselves onto you or whatever the case is, you can you know, set your little set your boundaries and things like that. Um, you just can't be a bum yourself. I guess okay that's basically it we can't expect something out of someone when we are kind of like doing something or what's called hypocrite hypocritical yeah just like and I, I can always relate things to the dating field when it comes to friendships and dating like you can't require something out of someone else and you're not doing it or you can't even produce that so like when it comes to men like I don't I don't truly believe in requiring a lot of things that you can't even do it for yourself you don't have to have you don't have to have it or have to do it for yourself but can you are you capable Yep. So that's how it is with friendships. Are you capable of being the person that can, you know, spend a little coin here or you know, you're always good to get a, a lift or you can always drive or whatever the case may be. Are you good for something? So that's what you'll attract based on who you are. Keep that in mind. Why isn't it so easy to forgive females as friends and accept, accept them right back? Um, I don't know. I think, well, for me, it's general. I don't care if you're a male or female. You do something to piss me off, I have nothing more to say. But um, I think a lot of times, I think people view it as when it comes to like, um, girls will like, take back a man or forgive him a thousand and one times, but as soon as they homegirl don't show up um, for their dog's graduation, you gotta get cut off. I just don't get it. Like, I don't know. I just feel like that's very loser behavior. And also too, um, I don't feel like getting into the topic of y'all know what, what topic I was going to get into because everything is subjective and I'm not going to tell somebody how to feel or whatever the case is. But for me, 
I'm just big on communicating. Just let me know what's going on. What's tea? Like, I feel like a lot of people be holding their friends to this high standard. And the man that they have is really down here. And they just keep on taking it back. Like, what's going on? But, um, like, for me, like, with the whole conversation of, you know, the birthdays and things like that. If you communicate with me or let me know what's going on. Like, hey, girl, I'm, I'm low on funds. Or, hey, girl, I'm really not feeling it. Hey, girl, I'm going to take you to do this late another day. Hey, girl. Just let me know what's going on. That's just how I am. So that's how I do to people. If, I, if it's something going on, I'm going to let you know. I don't care what's going on. I'm going to let you know. But I feel like a lot of times, a lot of people are, they lack communication skills. And people love to say, I don't need to say anything. They know what they did. Half the time, the person don't know what they did. Um, I think sometimes people say that because they have a fear of confrontation. So learning how to communicate is is key. And I, as, I don't know the real reason as to why women don't take back their friends as quick or easily as they would a man. I think that's what you're trying to compare it to because that's usually what it's compared to. I just, I don't know. I don't get it. The girlies just don't be girly. And, and I get it if the girl did something crazy. Cool. Yeah. But at the same time, certain things could be talked out. You'll sit there and want to talk to that man. After he cheated on you a thousand one time, but your homegirl just forgot to get you some flowers for your birthday or forgot to do this or whatever the case is. Give people grace. Like, <laughs> here's, okay, so here's the question. If your friend doesn't tell you happy birthday, do you cut them off? I don't know because my I don't have these type of friends. This is not my friend. Like, I think the problem is a lot of people call people their friend when they're not really your friend. You know your friends. Because your friends won't forget your birthday. Now, I had told my homegirl I had birthday on the wrong day before the day before. But hey, I still said it. I was early. But you got to stop calling people friends. And I, cause I think I'm, it's mind boggling to me that a friend of yours, a friend, someone you call a friend and they call you their friend too. Key there. Um, cheers to that. It's because you can have a friend, but are you their friend? Bite finger. Um, <laughs> you, you, how does your friend forget your birthday or they don't tell you happy birthday? I just like it's not your friend. Simple as that. But an acquaintance and all the other stuff, I'm not going to hold them hostage until they tell me happy birthday i don't i don't care <laughs> i don't know I, that's just me though advice on making new friendships in a new city um i don't know i think okay so for me i kind of like meet people like mutual like going out i'll meet this person here through somebody else or just going to like different little gatherings and just start talking to people uh i know it's harder it's easier said than done to just start talking to people Think of starter questions, like to make conversations with people. Um, and I can't think of any off the top of my head, like trying to give you guys a list. But like try to like look up starter, go on Pinterest, starter, we can go on Pinterest, let's go. Let's. So it says, do you like listening to podcasts? Which are your favorite? That's one of them. Another one, what's the worst advice you've ever been given? That's another one. What is your favorite weird food? Like what is something that's considered weird to somebody else? But the links to this in the description box so you guys can read it because it says conversations for when you need to appear put together oh that's a good one hold on what book could you read over and over this will help you get an insight on what type of books you need to read you can ask somebody what is the skill they want to improve on you can ask them do they speak any other languages like they have so many different conversation starters for different things like if you're at an event if you're on a date if you're with family yeah, well, we, okay, yeah, we're going to copy and paste this. I'm going to put it in the description box so you guys can go and look at that because that is really good. A right or wrong way to make friends, well, being mean is not the right way, of course, but um, making friends in a new city, it can be kind of difficult, but I'm always just optimistic and I just like to scope people out, see what they're about and see what's going on, see if we can connect, see what's, if we can't, whatever, but I'm um, just start going out more, you know what I mean? And like just being, just being nice. You don't got to be friendly because sometimes people can take your friendly for you know um a weakness you can be nice you don't have to be mean to people like you don't need to be a mean girl that's really nasty behavior that's really you doesn't make you look pretty it's not cool it looks you just you look crazy okay so this one says i have a friend who always picks at my insecurities yet she copied my style in many ways how should i address her about being her authentic self without being passive aggressive I'm trying to think because me personally, I have nothing to say to that girl. Why are you picking out my insecurities every five seconds and then you want to copy me? I feel like you should tear her into bits and pieces. <laughs> Just don't do that. 
what? Why do you keep picking at my insecurities? Like, and you know, it's, okay, it's different. Okay, okay. So you know how you have your friends and they know your insecurities. Like you tell them, you confide in them and then they throw it in your face or they pick at it. Yeah, they're not your friend. Those type of people, they are, they gotta go, honey, okay? And it's no way for you to even, you just, just at that point, I don't care if you came off as passive aggressive. I, you, as, that's her character. Okay, so something about me, and well, something that I tend to look at is people's character overall. Sometimes I don't even want you to change who you are. That's just how you are. I don't want to be around you. So if you're the type of person I'm going to pick at my insecurities all the time or whatever the case is, I'm not about to sit here and tell you what you're doing wrong. That's your character. Because why, why would you even want to talk about me? Or why would you want to pick out things about me? Are we not homies? Are we not like besties? Like, what's going on? <laughs> like, I just don't get it. So for me, everything's about character. Sometimes things don't need to be said because that's just their character as a person. I don't want to hang with you. I don't want to be with you. I don't want to be around you. You're not my friend. You're not my kind. You're not my people. You got to go. That's a hater. Because why are you? She's That's mean. That's really mean girl behavior. I don't think you need to address it. I don't think you have to worry about being passive aggressive. Just say what you want to say and hopefully just get your point across because at that point, that's just not a good person you want to be around. You know what I mean? It's, it's, that's her character. Huh. Mm -hmm. How to balance friendships and relationships? Oh, I don't know because it's not hard for me. I don't know. That's, I don't know. That's so crazy because everything is just so situational based and so subjective because I know a lot of other people struggle with this and I we all have different things that's going on in our life but I'm a very organized person so I kind of like to try to make time for everybody and everything when I can and if I can so I don't really struggle with that I think you yourself needing to be an organized person or not all over the place it'll be easier for you to balance things like if you can't even balance work life and school life or balance friendships and school like if you're not a good person to balance things that's something you need to work on because it should be a little bit more easier for you to do things when you know what you're supposed to do like okay so that's like for me okay so like I'll know like okay I planned a day to go with my homegirl somewhere on Friday so her day is scheduled and then I'm supposed to go somewhere with my boyfriend on the other day of the weekend I know what's going on and even if the plans kind of change or whatever, I'll still put it in somewhere else. I'll reschedule, whatever, cool. But having an organized mindset is probably what would help having a good balance. Because like I feel like I balance a lot of things very well. Like today is Tuesday. It's my constant day. I'm filming. Um, and then tomorrow, I kind of start working and everything again, like doing my one-on-one -on -one session. So, and then I fit in time for my friends, like at nighttime, or I'll do happy hour with them during the day, or I'll work out with them. I have, a, I have a good balance. It's just that you got to be a balanced person. Like you have to be organized. You have to know what you're trying to do so that it's not all chaotic, okay? How to know if a friendship is one-sided when you're never invited anywhere, ever, ever. <laughs> because why didn't you invite me? Like, I don't know. I don't like inviting myself to places and I be feeling away sometimes. I'm like, oh, well, why didn't I get an invite? But also, too, then you have to think about was it someone else's get together or like, do they don't know you don't really like get along with this other person or the personalities might clash. And honestly, it's one sided when you just never it's everything is on when you call them. That's why I said, are you their friend? Because they're your friend. But are you their friend? Hmm. That's like a lot of the questions are kind of similar. Like it says, um, speak on outgrowing friends, um, how to start new friendships after personal growth and cutting everybody off. Um, so I think overall, like I said, you don't got to say anything. You just got to be and just do. Be the person you desire to be and do the things that person is supposed to be doing. And other people will notice they're like, Oh, she's like I said, she's really doing what she's supposed to be doing and she's really growing and people are either going to respect it or they're not. You can't force people to respect what you got going on. Just do what you want to do and enjoy it. You know what I mean? Like life is too short to be worrying about a friend from the past that wants to hold on to the old version of you. Let them go because they probably ain't going to let you go. You just got to let it go. You can't hold on or 
worry about like, oh, I gotta bring them with me. If you wanna bring everybody with you and you waiting on other people to come with you, you'll get dragged so far down, way behind, in a ditch somewhere. You got to want more for yourself and the right people will align eventually, but it's not really hard to just cut people off, just distance yourself, just stop talking to them all the time. You'll notice like, wow, dang, I really didn't, I really, they really don't reach out to me. Or even if they do, you don't have to respond right away. You don't have to respond all the time. Like you can talk to them when you get free time. You be too accessible. And so that's why you feel like it's so hard. I feel like people be too accessible sometimes. And that's why it's so hard for them to kind of like distance themselves and cut people off because they're used to always being at someone's call. As soon as somebody texts them like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, hey girl, I'm not doing nothing. Or hey girl, I'm doing this. Or hey girl, what you doing? What I don't respond right away. I mean, I be missing messages sometimes. My phone on personal mode. I don't, I got, I'm busy. Be busy and people will understand. Um, okay, so I love this question. It says, how to deal with being called a bad friend or inconsistent for focusing on yourself? I love it because I have been, because I've been called a bad friend before and I was just so like taken aback because I was like, really? I never count what I do for people, right? But oh, that day I could count everything. I could count. Like, People will literally, when it's something about you or you gotta be, honestly, you gotta put yourself first. And I'm, I'm really big on that. And like, like I said, I'm big in communicating. So I'll reach out to people or whatever. If I feel like it's some tension or whatever, I'm gonna say something, we can talk about it. And if not, cool, I don't gotta talk to you no more. Cause I ain't gonna just like let it fly up under the rug and we gonna act like nothing ever happened. No, we don't need to talk about it. And we can discuss and we can both understand where we was coming from or whatever the case is. But how I personally deal with being called like a bad friend or inconsistent, I don't because I have so much other things to be worried about. I'm not worried about me being called a bad friend if I knew I did my part. As long like that's with anything. If you did, if you a business owner and you have an unsatisfied customer or whatever the case is, as long as you do what you can and do your part, however they still feel, we can't change it. People are always going to feel. That's just them. That's just how they want to feel. That's what they want to see. That's what they want to say. You got to let people be who they want to be and how they feel. Just do your part and do what you can. So you're focusing on yourself. Oh, you consider inc you're an inconsistent friend because you're trying to focus on yourself. I feel like it's selfish of the other person to not care about how you feel. We should both just care about how we both feel. But some people, everything is just about them. Sorry, I'm trying to get myself to where I want to be. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said everything is subjective and very situational based. But for me, I just don't deal with it because I have so much other stuff I got to do. I'm not worried. About, I'm not going to sit here and boohoo cry because somebody's upset that whatever the case is. And now I'm a bad friend. I got stuff to do. If I already reached out to you asking like what's going on. You know, some people, if you ask them, some people aren't confrontational. So they'll act like nothing's wrong with them. But then there's something wrong with them. Um, like something, you did something, but they don't have to tell you. I just like a lot of times people are very immature or don't want to communicate and it's just it sucks sometimes but oh well we get life life is too short we can't sit here and dwell on it you can ask them how they feel what's going on ask them to talk to you and if they don't want to oh well you can't force somebody to say nothing to you you know I already answered this kind but it says how do you manage time with your friend versus boyfriend because daddy time is daddy time I have a I have a good balance like I I have a pretty good balance and also too I think um other people I hang out with are relationships too so we all we all get it and I, okay listen I know I know some people are very like oh my god why would you leave your friends to do this and this I don't care if my friend leaves me like I'm ruining her room especially if it's a new man or I knew she'd been through some mess or if if I love you know their dynamic like their, their relationship I'll see you later have fun like <laughs> I don't know. I just want people to live their life and have fun. Like, I don't know. I think it's that thrill of like your man telling you like you, you already was drinking or you all, you already had a good time with your girls. Like it's different. Okay. He, we just sat down. He's talking about something. Come on. No, we just sat down. Tell him. Give us an hour. Okay. But like, you know, we, we had our time. Like we at the next function. Girl, you can go ahead. Like it's cool. I'm not going to fight you about it. I'm not going to get jealous or upset. Like have fun. We just hung out. Cause I'm probably ready to go to bed in a minute anyway. You know what I mean? Like, so I don't know. I just, I don't, 
I don't be trying to fight nobody about wanting to hang with somebody else or whatever the case is. We had our time. Cool. You had a good night. You ready to go have a good time with your man? Do that. Like, if he wanted to take you out afterwards, he's going to come pick you up and go somewhere else. Have the time of your life. Like, I want you to have a thrill. Have a... I want to hear a story the next day. Tell me what, what, what was what was tea? What happened? Like, I don't know. I just want people to have fun. And I feel like sometimes people get territorial over their friends and other things like that. Like... I can get it if you don't like that man and it's just like, we leaving us for him. But when it's like, for me though, like my friends, like the dudes that they have or like whatever the case is, like their fiance and things like that, they have such a great dynamic. I don't want to be the reason, I don't want to tear that apart. Like I don't want to be like, oh, you only can hang with me or no, we need to be out all night. We need to do, that's not me. Okay. So you got to have a balance and also to you have to have friends that can either understand your situation so if you're in a relationship either get more friends that in good relationships too or just women that don't really take offense to everything you got to find your people basically how to deal with an one upper friend so like somebody that always got to do one up on you like like girl go sit down like people just be wanting to be seen always wanting to do the most like sometimes just distance yourself at that point i just will be like am i tripping that would ask somebody else like somebody else that's on the outside looking at you like am i tripping no okay cool okay and that's when you would i would just distance myself from that person because you're just doing too much and they know what they're doing a lot of people know what they're doing and it's like they're just trying to wait to see if you're going to crack or if you're ever going to care or if you're just going to be like you know if they can just push push over and do everything they want to do so when it's a one up a friend they just want to do too much i can't be around people that want to do too much let me have my moment i would never do that to you i would never be like oh well yeah well i i got this though okay oh, i don't know <laughs> do you like to treat your friendships like your relationships um Good question. I feel like me and my boyfriend was talking about this like a week or so ago. Not in that, not in that sense, but we were trying to see if it's like the same thing. Like, I don't know because yeah, I just I don't know. I can't even answer that. That's a good question. If anybody has an answer, please answer it. Cause I don't, I don't know. Do I like to treat my friendships like my relationships? I mean, I just trying to hold everyone to the same standard. Don't piss me off. <laughs> Um, that's just something I have for myself. Don't piss me off. Like, I don't care if you're my friend or my boyfriend. Just don't. Don't do it. So, yeah, I do treat you the same, I think. Because I don't care what it is. Just don't piss me off. I feel like a lot of people be wanting to just piss me off. Please don't. Because I'll just stop talking to you. I have no problem stop talking to people at all. <laughs> um, getting along better with guys versus girls. Because girls tend to be more jealous and messy have you met these men now granted okay let me let me break let's let's talk about it let's talk about it because i was just talking about this with my friends and i was talking to my boyfriend about it because i was saying a lot of the girls are very mean girlish right but a lot of times the guys don't see that part or that side of girls because the girls want to come off as oh this they want to be so cute so dainty but when it comes to another girl around Oh, that's a whole nother girl. She is mean and nasty, right? So, I personally, I don't like that mean girl stuff. I like to make somebody feel comfortable. Like, when it comes to, like, the club culture and stuff like that, when me in a section and the girls just be mugging you and stuff, you didn't pay for the section either. Like, <laughs> I just never, even if you did, don't be nasty and don't be mean. Don't be so freaking rude. Like, I just don't get it. Why do you want to be a nasty little girl? I just don't get it. But um, the guys be messy too. Not, not all, granted. But I feel like those guys, they're more forgiving. They're chill. They're laid back. They're not as, as emotional as we are. So it's kind of easier just to make friends with them. But um, it has to be like a real true friendship. Not he likes you. He want to talk to you. Like, he's not. You know what I mean? Like, I have my guy friends and things like that. But... You have to you have to weave those type of people out and just you know I, I just pray for good discernment when it comes to meeting people because you just never know you know what I mean it can be male or female they can be mean just this messy who whatever you know what I mean and it is I think it is more so you know women that have these traits but men have it too don't get me wrong so don't think that making friends with men is just way better than anything in the world um, now are they more fun probably yes but 
they're just as messy. The, the guys are messy sometimes. But, but yeah, so, but yeah, that's my tea on the topics of friendships. I'm big on communication. Don't piss me off. Don't leave a friend hanging. Like, you can be on a bag burner, but don't leave them completely hanging. Stop to think if you're their friend. Because they're your friend. Who are you their friend? Think about that. Um, just be more optimistic and also to stop being so nasty to people sometimes. It's for my people that be nasty to people. Um, don't be the mean girl. It just shows. Ew, it's just it's not cute, y'all. Um, but yeah, just be more you. Just be who you want to be and the right people will align with you eventually. Like for me, I just step into my true purpose. So every day I do what I got to do to get closer to what I want to be and the people will align. People have been aligning with me. I meet new people, great people. Like people come and go. You never know. Some people aren't meant to be your friend friend. They're just somebody great to just be around that day or for that period of time. Stop thinking everybody's your friend. That's the problem. Just like stop thinking every man you meet is going to be your perfect man. He ain't. So stop thinking every girl you meet is going to be the girlfriend for you. She ain't. She's not. She's just stop. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, too, I'm, I'm sorry about the delay on this topic for the video. I've been busy, y'all. Listen. Y'all got to get on y'all Zoom, honey. You got to get on y'all Zoom. Mm, mm hmm. This is good. <laughs> This drink good, the strawberry good. We have a great conversation. We had a great conversation. What, what, what more could we ask for? So I'll talk to you girlies in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel and follow me on all my other platforms so we can all stay connected. And I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers.